bristling with weapons and confidence. These Taliban fighters want to show they rule the road, a sign of strength as their leaders talk peace with the United States. Like much of Afghanistan, the Taliban's white flag hangs over this part of Ghazni province. These foot soldiers say they support the idea of a peace deal, but they're against demands for a ceasefire until all foreign forces leave their country, an unrealistic condition. This mid-level commander spoke exclusively to Sky News. He's not directly involved in the on-off peace talks. <laughs> but what he and his men think matters. They'll have to obey any instructions to stop targeting the Afghan security forces. If they don't, it would undermine any future peace deal. <laughs> President Donald Trump, here with his Afghan counterpart, announced a resumption of peace talks with the Taliban on a trip to Afghanistan last month. The Taliban wants to make a deal. We'll see if they want to make a deal. It's got to be a real deal, but we'll see. He wants a deal too, having pledged to end the war and bring thousands of troops home. But there are fears for Afghanistan's fledgling democracy if the exit happens too quickly. Muin Hamayan injured his hand in a Taliban attack in Kabul in September. <laughs> This senior Afghan politician is worried her country could again become a hub for global terrorism. She says the Taliban must agree to a ceasefire and then to talks with their fellow Afghans. Can you just spell out what the risk would be if that happened, if the um, Islamic Republic of Afghanistan, if its people were not included in talks with the Taliban? Probably Taliban can come back with the same mentality and ideology that they were ruling Afghanistan and they will keep their ties with all these international terrorism. The risk is not only to us, but the risk is to the region and I think to the wider global community. Back in Ghazni province, these Taliban fighters think they're on the winning side. Inshallah, <laughs> Fighting talk, the road to peace in Afghanistan, still long and filled with danger. Deborah Haynes, Sky News.